Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we are going to be looking at a prototype by Ernest Emerson and in this case I do have the description from Ernest Emerson himself so we are going to go through that and then do a little bit of comparisons with some similar models out there that you can see okay again this is from Ernest Emerson himself so let's go through that and then do the comparisons title N-50 Barrett the stamp of the blade is not for sale prototype okay when we were contacted by Ronnie Barrett to make a companion knife to his 50 caliber rifle I had a dilemma I had to design a knife that was good solid working knife meaning practical and tactical along with features that tied in with and reflected the design of the rifle and the Barretts had to like it too right not so easy for me because I'm not one who just draws something on paper and says good enough I put a lot of thinking and work in coming up with that knife here is one of the early Emerson Barrett knives I sent to them for the T&E. T&E stands for Testing and Evaluation. It has just a few scuffs, no logo, but it's marked Prototype Dash Not For Sale. But this is the real deal and still in excellent condition. I never had one of his 50 caliber rifles. I wish I did, but at least I have the knife very very cool let's go through it and look at this beautiful design very very utilitarian and it's one of those models that is not extremely popular okay you might see some of these barrets on ebay at just normal prices so very very cool to see and again in this case this is a prototype and let me make that clear that when we are talking about a prototype we're talking about a knife that was hand feeded, hand ground, everything by Ernest Emerson himself, okay? Like he mentioned in that description, that blade has no stamps on it other than the prototype not for sale right there below that thumb disc, okay? So very, very cool, a very utilitarian style of blade, very similar or probably the same of the Mac 1 and we'll do a comparison with that in this case we're looking at a v grind meaning that it's ground on that side and it's also ground on the other side and then you have that chisel edge from emerson right very very cool very light in the hand both liners are titanium okay in this case and you can see that you have these openings right here on the g10 to mimic that hand guard on the rifle right that they have those style of opening so very very cool in terms of handles again classic emerson with your finger guard great great contouring on this old school g10 that feels great in the hand guys no wave normal thumb stud that i love and then you have your classic old school construction with that backspacer and then your classic uh benchmade clip right there that I love and again it feels great in the hand and it's a great great utilitarian blade when we're looking at this knife I will tell you right away what it comes to my mind is the Mac 1 let me show you how the Mac 1 compare with this guy of course that handle is different but you can see that blade is the same right you have that drop point very utilitarian and the Mac 1 guys is one of those knives that you don't see a lot but it's extremely extremely ergonomic and really really useful for EDC I haven't made a video of it but the Mac 1 later became the Nova right so you will see that the Nova design has the same blade as well and of course you will say Edwin that looks really similar to that BL40 that they made on Blasio and you are right that blade is very very similar to this model one thing I will mention and in this case I'm only speculating because I don't have any facts or information about this but the Falcon handle has some characteristics from that Barrett design as well and I'm specifically talking about this area right here in that handle 
very ergonomic, but both of them have that style of, of squarish, right? Or a style of lines in the handle and finger guard. So I'm wondering if these two models were in battle to win the design for the Barrett knives. I don't know, I'm speculating. This is not something that I have confirmed, but be aware of that. In this case, both of these models are prototypes. So very, very happy to have those in my collection. And guys, if you have any other question, feel free to jump in on caloblades.com. Of course, in YouTube comment, follow me on Instagram and you know, in caloblades.com, we have all the links of the major groups that we're always hanging out and having a blast and a great time with the community. You guys have a great day out there. Bye.